So Vivid Memories, listening to this song on the radio late at night, back in the fall of 1981, and it's a lost 45 now. Say goodbye to Hollywood by Billy Joel, the live version at number 35 on my fantasy playlist. You know, I really do appreciate Billy Joel a lot more now than I did back in the day, back in the 70s and 80s. 70s and 80s, just give me some more of the 60s. Give me some more of those Herman's Hermits. Give me Sergeant Pepper. Give me Turn Down Day by the Circle. Just don't, you know, Billy Joe, well, he's okay, but, you know, but now it's like, guy was a friggin' genius. From um, the Piano Man to Captain Jack to Pressure, it was a Good Night Saigon, the song he did back in 1982. She's got a way, those ballads that he did. I mean, he just he was capable of rocking, he was capable of doing love songs. The guy was very versatile back in the day. Man, what was I thinking? <laughs> not not really appreciating his music, but I do now. I'll say goodbye to Hollywood. Although I was pretty partial to this record. Uh Billy Joe did say that he wrote this song. He was kind of influenced by the the Ronettes, Be My Baby, which came out back in the summer, fall of 1963, produced by Phil Spector. He had that song in mind, the rhythm uh, part of the song in mind when he wrote Say Goodbye to Hollywood. Indeed, the beats are a little bit similar. The album, well, there are two albums here. The first time this song appeared was on Turnstiles. That was in 1976, Billy Joel's fourth album. I guess maybe one of his famous cuts. He didn't have a hit record off that album. That's why it's probably relatively obscure. Uh, New York State of Mind, probably one of his best-known album cuts from the Turnstile and Say Goodbye to Hollywood. Might have been put out as a single, but didn't do anything. Of course, The Stranger came out a year later, produced by Phil Ramone, and that, that really just rocketed Billy Joel right back into the top 40 big time. And, uh, say, and uh, Songs in the Attic, Billy Joel's first live album. Say Goodbye to Hollywood, recorded live at the Milwaukee Arena in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The date was uh, July the 14th, 1980. The album also produced by Phil Ramone, big producer. Produced uh, one of his big, got, his, got a Grammy. First Grammy he got uh, was producing when he produced uh, Still Crazy After All These Years by Paul Simon. Guess that would be in 1976. But uh, Phil Ramone had a... Uh, had a nice working relationship with Billy Joe. Read a good book about Phil Ramone years ago. Well, anyway, the song went to number 17 on Billboard's Hot 100, and that is it. I'm done. Say goodbye to Hollywood. Those fond memories listening to that song on Kicks 106 in Birmingham back in the fall of 1981. It's strange how all this comes back at you. <laughs>